I'm uh, Dr. Janelle Funk. I work at the Navajo Technical College Veterinary Teaching Hospital. We're out here at Larry Grider's ranch. We're going to do some trick testing on his bulls. And so we've got our second year students out. We're going to show them how it's done. We're going to bring our worst bull in first, I think. And you get to do him. I know, thank you. And then when we let these bulls out, Royce is going to let them out. I'm going to be on the outside, and you guys just kind of stay over there. And these two guys are going to make sure these portable panels don't, the bull don't get in there. You and I'm going to take him in here. All right? Okay. This is a trick test um, for we're trying to detect or not detect uh, Trichomonas fetus, which is the um, protozoan um, that it will infect a bull's sheath. Um, we're really kind of big on definite cleanliness during this process. Um, what we have going on now is we're trimming the excess hair um, from around the sheath, um, so we'll have clean entry of the pipette. Um, to avoid cross-contamination. Uh, after every bull, uh, we change our gloves, um, also to avoid cross-contamination. So we want to make sure that we've got the longer hairs removed and any type of organic ma matter debris. Hang on a second. Now, what I want you to notice, see here? See that manure? Yeah. Yeah, you want to make sure you get that off. And right here, see all that? Mm -hmm. Gonna wipe all that clean. Okay. Yeah, it's just like doing a surgical prep almost. Same same idea. Okay, so you're gonna rub it away from the opening of the sheath. Okay, what she's doing now is she's gonna insert the pipette into the sheath. We've got a 12 ML syringe attached um, to the end of the pipette which will allow for negative pressure and then she's going to work the pipette up and down the sheath um, to the sides of the sheath. Within the sheath itself as bulls mature they develop crevices which are known as crypts and if the organism is present generally you'll find it in the crypts and that's why you can't really treat bulls with trichomoniasis. Um, if they have the organism, that's that's pretty much it. End of the road. Now we're introducing the sample into the uh, pouch. Um, the pouch is full of nutrients to keep the cells alive um, until they're able to be tested at the lab. Once, once at the lab, um, our lab here in New Mexico uses a real-time PCR, and PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. Um, it's a way to multiply the DNA of the organism. Uh, if the organism is present, they, they will find it using PCR. It's a very accurate test, very sensitive test. Okay. And then put a new one in and record the new okay. tag. Fast and don't stimulate him. <laughs> Go ahead, hook it up. This is the fourth time for this bull this year. 
the fourth time? Yes. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. Poor bull. He hates these shoots. Yeah, he's black Angus. Your pouch here. Information? Yeah. The trick number on there? Okay. Okay. Who's got the pouch? Come on. Cut up. Get it open for him. Pull on those two ears. Oh. You see the pink in there? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, get his tag number on the other side and we'll. What's your ear tag? Okay. Okay. You guys get it? I'm trying to pull out. Get it. Is that okay? Cool. There we go. I need somebody in there. Until he gets done. Okay. My name is Martina Martinez. I'm a vet tech student here. I'm a second year, so hopefully I'll be done in the spring. After this, I plan to go to vet school, become a veterinarian. And today we did some uh, truck bull testing. It's pretty much we did about five bulls today. But he don't like what's fixing happen. I don't blame him. I don't either. By God, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Ooh. You're gonna have to work it. Get a. You don't want to get too aggressive, but aggressive enough so you can get some results. Oh, oh, buddy. Okay. Can you see anything? Yeah. I'm drawing it right into the syringe there. You good? You done down here? Okay. Good. Good. Funny. Good. That's it. My name is Christy Dennison. I'm a second year student here at the Navajo Tech Veterinary Technician Program. After I graduate in spring, I'm going to the Equine Dentistry School in Idaho. And from there, hopefully, continue majoring in equine sciences. Virgin Bull. <laughs> Four. Well, this goes on. This. This one's always on top, so the numbers will be on the bottom. Okay. Or the no. numbers will be on the top, so it'll be going in like this. Right now we don't have any. I, I tested these bulls three times in May, and I already caught three bulls on my property. Sorry. And when you yeah. got the, the only way I got is that number right there. My name is Thurman Shai. I go to school at Navajo Technical College. I am the veterinary technician program here at Crown Point, New Mexico. My lifetime goal is to become a veterinary for large animals, mostly equine animals. Um, not only equine, it's um, for like stock, stock contractors and for like herds too. So that's my main point is to be a veterinary.